When the Giants and the Cowboys play on Monday night, I've got the Cowboys beating the Giants 35 to 14. The reason why I've got the score being so lopsided like that is because the Cowboys are the better team overall. They can score easier, the defense plays better, and I'm even giving the Cowboys special teams the edge on this one as well. So, so look for Dak Prescott to have a great game against the Giants secondary. He's probably going to throw for over 300 yards. Look for Zeke to run wild all over that Giants defense. He's probably going to have about 150 yards rushing. Amari Cooper, he's going to do his thing. He's going to have a 100-yard receiving day against that porous Giants secondary. So that's what's going to happen. I will say this, though. It will be an entertaining game because you've got so many star players. You've got Dak. You've got Zeke. You've got Amari for the Cowboys. That's on offense. On defense, you've got Smith. You've got Demarcus Lawrence. They, they recently acquired Martellus Bennett. So there'll be a lot of dynamic plays taking place on Monday night. And on the Giants side, you've got Saquon Barkley, you've got Daniel Jones, and you've got the Giants tight end, Ingram. He's really good. So it'll be a fun, entertaining game, but in the end, the Cowboys are gonna find a way to come out on top. So like I said, Zeke will have a great game, Dak will have a great game, Amari Cooper will have a great game. The Giants are just overmatched here. They just are. Daniel Jones, he's a rookie. He's still going through his growing pains. He's still trying to navigate his way through the NFL. So he's still learning, but he's learning, but he's gonna lose while he's learning. I will say this though, I've been impressed with Daniel Jones. I don't think he'll be a bust in the NFL. I think in the long run, his career will be great. So, the Giants did make a right choice in selecting him. Initially, I thought it was a bad choice. I thought they made a big mistake in selecting him. I thought that Daniel Jones was, not Daniel Jones, I thought that Dwayne Haskins was a better player than Daniel Jones. I thought that he would have a much more successful career. And we don't know yet. That still could be the case. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, Daniel Jones is doing well. I know a lot of people were bummed out when Eli Manning was benched and Daniel Jones had Daniel Jones came in to replace him, but so far he's playing well. Like I said, he's a rookie. He'll get better season by season. The thing is, tomorrow night he's going to get up against a vaunted Dallas football team that is playoff hungry. They really want to make a strong push for the playoffs, and in order for them to do that, they know they've got to beat teams like the Giants. So right now, the Cowboys are in first place. But if they want to remain in first place, they've got to dominate the NFC East. And it has to continue with them beating teams like the Giants and beating up on teams like the Eagles and Washington. So, so they just have to find a way to win. And on top of that, they've got a tough schedule ahead as well. They've got the Patriots coming up. They're going to be playing the Eagles again. The Eagles always are tough. I know they beat them last time they played them, but hey. We know the Eagles, don't underestimate them because they'll find a way to, to sneak up on you and beat you if you're not careful. So the Cowboys can't underestimate them when they play again. They've got some other tough teams. They've got the Vikings coming up too. So the Cowboys know that they've got to win these games. They definitely have to beat teams like the Giants, teams like the Bills, and they know that they have very little margin for error. So when they play the Giants on Monday night, they're gonna beat them. Like I said, it's going to be 35-14. to 14. I know Vander Esch is out for the Cowboys. He has a neck injury, but they can plug in someone else to fill in his spot. So Sean Lee, he'll probably be playing. We know Smith is going to be out there balling, doing his thing. And the Dallas, keep, the Dallas Cowboys defense will, will just keep on trucking along. They'll help the Cowboys win. They're going to shut down the running attack of the Giants. I don't see Saquon Barkley going too wild. He may get about, I'll give him 90 yards rushing. I don't see him rushing for more than that. 
And then they, the Giants don't have a receiving core, too. So Ingram might go off. He might catch five passes for 80 yards. But other than that, I don't see too much happening in terms of the passing attack. And Daniel Jones is pretty much going to be scrambling all day. I don't think that Giants offensive line can contain the Cowboys defensive line. So he's going to be in for a long, hard day. So I've got the Giants winning, not the Giants, I've got the Cowboys winning 35-14, to 14, and that's what's probably going to happen. The, the Cowboys are probably going to win big. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And by subscribing to my channel, you won't miss out on any future content that I post. So you should definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.